Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to use loudness radar. All right, without further ado, let's get started. So we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Actually, this loudness radar, we can use this uh, if you want to monitor the loudness specifically in your audio. All right, so I'm going to show you uh, I'm gonna show you how to use it, all right? So uh, to add that, all we have to do is to, all right, so right now I'm using the audio workspace, all right? So click on audio here at the top if you wanna follow along. And here, so all we have to do is to look for the effects, loudness radar. So to do that, we go to effects tab here, all right? Effects tab, we go to effects tab here and then search for loudness, uh, loud, or search for loudness, radar all right so under audio effects here there's a loudness radar right here all right so we can drag and drop it all right to our audio and now we go to effects control scroll down look for loudness radar and we can click on edit and this loudness radar will pop up all right this is the uh, dialog box for loudness radar okay now there's another way you can do this all right so i'm gonna close this so i can show you the second way to do that uh, to do it is to click on the uh, audio track mixer all right so click on audio track mixer all right and then uh, there is a triangle right here all right there's a triangle right here that you can click all right so let's click on the triangle and then you will see this um, okay I'll try to make it a little bit larger all right and then you will see this white all right these details right here okay so basically this is your all right this is your um, audio one, audio two, audio three, and master. All right, let's say we are on the audio one, and I want to change all of these uh, audio here uh, that was on the audio one. All right, so this is useful for me. This is more. Um, this is useful for me rather than the bef uh, rather than the first option because it will only affect a single clip. All right, so I prefer to use this one or this method because if you want to uh, affect all of the clips or the audio in this audio one, all of these audio here, uh, unlike on the first method is you will only affect this one audio, all right? But if you want to uh, put all of these, you want to um, put the effects on, or if you want to put all the effects on all, this, all of the clips on this audio layer one, this is the right way for you, all right? So just uh, go up, all right? right here and then there's uh all right let's say we are on the audio one right here all right so i'm gonna go to the second uh effects name right here and then click on this little triangle and then let's go to special all right under the special there is a loudness radar all right all we have to do is to click on this this loudness radar will be available right here all right so click on that all right, once you have this, you know, special, you know, loudness radar, you will see this loudness radar right here. All right. So to open that dialog box that we have before, all you have to do is to double click on this loudness radar right here. Double click it. This dialog box will pop up. All right. So basically, all right, if you play this uh, in our timeline. So basically normalizing audio, what we need to do is if the all right, so I'm just playing right here and then you will see those details right here. All right. Now, this is the range of the loudness. OK, this is the range of the loudness. It's going to negative six, negative 12, 80, negative 24. All right. And then it will show you right here this yellow one. OK. All right. Let's go ahead and try to go to settings first. OK, so I'm going to settings and the target loudness. All right. So basically negative 24 is for. Uh, around you know for films and so on and so forth for movies all right that's your target ne uh, negative 20. now if you're using phones like that normally the target's around negative uh, 16 all right negative 16 right here all right so okay let's go and reset it and let's go back to radar all right let's go and try to play one more time this is negative 16 okay this is uh let's say this is our target okay if we play this kind of peaks like this all right so by the way, if you want to see this kind of look, all you have to do is to double click on the empty, um, empty space on your uh, track. All right. So all right, as you can see, it's plain. So this one, this the yellow one, is uh, above your target because your target that you set here is sixteen. So if you go here. Uh, if you know if you play the uh, audio right here so every every time you speak or every time the uh, music the frequencies right here let's go to uh, this one so negative 16 so right here is around negative 16 right here so I'm gonna play one more time uh, there's an empty space right next to the uh, microphone if you enable the uh, microphone icon or at the end all right all right so if you notice 
every every time the uh, every time the uh, sounds go up in here, these yellow peaks. All right. So that's how you read this radar. All right. So don't be confused. These numbers not you know this negative fifty two, negative forty six. That's not how it. That's not how it reads. All right. So basically. This is the negative 16 or negative 10, maybe negative 10, negative. But, but one thing for sure, this target right here is negative 16 and above. All right. Negative 16, negative 10, negative four and two right here. All right. So that's how you read this meter. So I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to play it one more time so that you can see the difference. So if you double click in this part, it will, it will increase it. If you double click it again, it will. All right, as you notice, all right, we're running out of sounds. All right, I'm going to close that here. Then let's go back to beginning right here. All right, so let's go open it one more time, loudest reader. All right, and then every time you want to play it again, you can just uh, click on this to reset the measurement. All right, so basically, um, let's try to play it one so more time. Inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, so uh, please use the uh, audio workspace at the top, all right, so that we can see this kind of you know set up a workspace. So to do that, click on audio or click on window at the top, click on workspace and click on audio. Perfect. All right, so right now we have here our timeline. All right, so all right. The reason why you want to use this loudest reader is because to get rid of this little yellow, all right, little yellow. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this, all right, and then I'm gonna go here. To uh, our audio, as you can see, it's um, it's peaking right there, right. So what you can do is you can create a keyframes, right, to manually decrease those, you know, with the yellow. All right, that's how you can use loudness radar to fine tune your loudness of your audio. All right, but for me, normally, it's it's it, it doesn't matter right? if you're going rich right here or this. Uh, it doesn't matter sometimes right here sometimes right here for me it's okay all right but if you really want to fine-tune your audio into perfection okay if you really want to just stay right here negative three you can use this loudness radar all right so if you want to re really re remove those negative 16 and above and you just want to uh, perfectly right here on the negative six you can do it by using this loudness radar all right uh, see so play that here, we have these you know uh, 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 music or audio here. All right. And All right. So if that is the case. So let's go back here in our um, timeline right here, and then you can just create a keyframe. All right. So how do you create a keyframe? So you go here, and then you just create a keyframe right here. All right, so you can just create a keyframe right here to manually decrease or lower down the audio that is speaking that you can see in this loudest radar. All right. And, uh, right now, we'll All go. right. So that's that's basically how you use uh, you know loudness radar to uh, see those peaking information. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the Talk next video.